Hey guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I get to bring you another awesome palette from Menagerie Cosmetics, which I'm super excited about. So you guys know I love their Dragon Child palette. They released that when they were under the name Makeup Monsters. Um, that one I think they're going to be doing away with, but they are going to be offering the colors as single shadows which they also have a ton of single shadows now. And then they had the Feral palette, which is my personal favorite. I absolutely love the formula of her eyeshadows. The mattes are so pigmented. They're probably some of the most pigmented, colorful eyeshadows that I own, and I just love them. Um, and then the shimmers are just so insanely gorgeous. So this is their first mini palette, which I think is such a fun idea. Um, it only has six shades. This is, let me show you the cover. Their artwork is always just incredibly gorgeous too. So this is the cover, and then these are the shades in this palette. So this is a bit more on the neutral side, but I think it's really smart that they went in this direction because their two original palettes are incredibly colorful. Feral's probably the closest to like neutral, but you know, it's mostly like pinks and greens and things like that. So this I feel like is a really good step for somebody who's maybe not quite ready for the super colorful eyeshadows yet, but you still get to experience that amazing formula. And I think that these shades are beautiful. I love kind of these beautiful like berry and peachy and kind of warm colors and this color right here, definitely love that. Um, so of course I picked it up. Plus this is only $20. So that's a pretty great deal also. Um, it is sold out right now, but when you go onto their website, they have like a, you know, email me when it's back in stock for everything. And so you can sign up to do that if you want so that you know when it gets back in stock. And she did recently post on her Instagram um, in her stories when people were asking her questions. Uh, she said she is gonna be doing more little mini palettes in the future. Um, she has the Whale Song palette coming out, which I've already pre-ordered. So that'll be coming out soon and it's gonna be the same size as the Feral palette. But then hopefully she'll start coming up with some more little mini ones because I think these are a great little idea. And if you don't know about Menagerie Cosmetics, just to give you a quick little overview, um, all their products are cruelty free and vegan. Most of them kind of have a cute like animal type of theme because they are very into animals, wildlife and all that. Um, and they do donate a portion of their like year end profits to the Animal Welfare Institute. So that's pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and get into the look. Alright guys, so for the first look, I definitely want to use this shade right here. Um, so I do already have my eyelids primed. I used the MAC Paint Pot and then I took translucent powder and set just like the brow area, um, this part, and I left the rest of it tacky. So we are going to jump straight into this shade down here, Tutu. I'm using a fluffy brush and I'm going to work this through the crease and around. We are doing a blown out look. <laughs> I'm gonna switch to a little bit firmer brush. It's still fluffy, but it's a little firmer. This one I find is a little flimsy and sometimes it's hard for me to get in like the way I want it to. And yeah, my brushes are pretty much all stained. I've used so many blue, really pigmented eyeshadows that pretty much most of my brushes with white tips are stained blue at this point. Yeah, this brush works much better for what I want. So you can see how this covers much better like this too. Um, all right, so I'm just going through the crease. Now that I've kind of worked some down, I'm gonna work it up a little bit, just to blend it out, get a little bit more underneath. I pretty much knew when I bought this palette, like as soon as I saw it online, I knew that this was a look that I would want to do with this palette just because that color is so gorgeous. And I really love doing lighter colors like i really like pinks oranges and sometimes yellows doing this like really blown out look those are like my favorite ones to use mostly because i think it looks really pretty blended into the blush okay so i'm now just kind of working that color out blending away a little bit Okay, I'm gonna do the other eye real quick. Okay, now that I look like I'm sick or ill, <laughs> let's go ahead and work on getting some definition with these eyes. So I'm gonna jump into the deeper shade, which is called Serenade. And I'm using a tiny blending brush. And I'm gonna work a little bit of this right into the crease area, just for some definition. Okay. 
All right, so that's that part. I do wanna add a little bit to the outer corner. So I'm just gonna kind of pack that right in the outer corner and kind of just softly diffuse it inward and kind of just lightly bring it out just like you, I normally would like with a wing. We're not going the full blown craziness with it. It's mostly just kind of give it the wing kind of effect. May as well go ahead and continue using this color while I have it out. I am gonna line the lower lash line with it. So I'm just gonna switch to a liner brush and add some of that color down here for definition. Leaving the inner part open and bright. I'm gonna kind of bring it down. I'm probably gonna switch to a pencil brush and first just kind of buff the product with, you know, I didn't put anything on the brush. Dipped in a little bit. I'm gonna dip into a little bit of the tutu shade, that shade with the pencil brush. Um, just to help blend, but it'll also deposit that color a bit deeper and darker. Bring some of that on the inner part. Okay, liking that so far. Okay, I do feel like that is coming together. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add this gorgeous bestie color. I think I'm just going to use my finger to place it on the lid. Um, and then like I normally do, I'll go in with a wet brush to get it right up to the crease, but we're not gonna cut the crease with this one. I don't think we're going to need to. So I'm just gonna fast forward. Okay, I do want to add a bit of brightness to this look for the inner corner. So I'm going to go into my Collective Cosmetics highlighter. This is the one from this month's box. So this one was called Vapors. I am going to spritz it a little and pop it onto the inner corner. All right, so that definitely helps. Um, okay, so. I'm gonna finish up this look. Obviously with a look like this, I feel like what helps ground it is the black wing. You definitely need something heavy and black. So I'm gonna add black wing liner and of course lashes. Um, before I do that, let me pop something into the waterline. I'm gonna pop pink, I think. So that was boots from ColourPop. So I definitely like that. I think it really helps bring out the pink in that lid shade. So now I'm going to go ahead and do off camera black wing liner and lashes, and then I'll come back. Um, I'll pick out a lip and I'll just show you guys what I did. So be right back. All right, guys. So this is the finished first look. So for lashes, I ended up using one of my likely lashes pair. Um, this is the style of blissful baby, super pretty. I love these. And then for lips, I did a little bit of a combo of Dr. Facilier from ColourPop. It was kind of the uh, deeper of the two tones that I bought, um, but I kind of like blended it out a bit. I didn't like go full opaque. I kind of just blurred it on there. And then I used Puppies um, from the Corella ColourPop collection. Just a little bit, dabbed it on top and rubbed it around. So you kind of get this like subtle wash of color. I think it goes really nicely with the tutu shade that's kind of like blown out around. It kind of really pulls that in there. So. Definitely happy with the way this turned out. Like I said, I love this kind of blown out eye look. Um, I think I actually, just to tie it all in and like finish it off a little bit more, I wanna pop just to add more blush on. So I have the Papa Don't Peach blush from Too Faced. I'm just gonna pop a little more. I do like to go heavy on the blush when I do these blown out um, eye looks like this, cause it just kind of, in my opinion, it ties it all together. So, and I did go with a more peachy toned blush this time, knowing that I was gonna be doing these colors. So I like that. So yeah, this is the finished first look. All right, so for look number two, I'm definitely going to be focusing on the other three, the more kind of brown yellowy tones. So I'm gonna jump right into this shade right here, Caramelized. And I'm gonna start working that into the crease. I do have my um, base on again and it's not set. So I'm kind of just packing this color down first and then I'll blend it. Okay, 
hair is already getting on my nerves. All right, so I'm going to bring it out. Just to about the tail of my brow. I am gonna be bringing this underneath too. Not like as crazy as if I had done the blown out look, but you know, still pretty. Pretty blown out lower lash line, just not all the way down to the cheeks. All right, then I'm gonna jump straight into the gold shade Keepsake and I'm just going to use my finger and I'm gonna put this all over the lid. is a gorgeous color. Wow, that is an insane gold. I'm gonna pop a little bit on the inner corner, but I'm gonna go over the top of it with a highlighter when I'm done. So this just kind of like adds a little base. And I do like the way it is underneath where it kind of like got a little bit of that gold underneath. So I am gonna take just a little wet brush into that gold shade just to make a more defined line on the lower lash line. And then I'm gonna take that fluffy brush back into caramelized and just kind of really blend and soften where the gold meets the crease because I don't I don't want the cut crease appearance. I want it soft and blended, especially on this outer portion. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the um, little palette that I got from Gothic Gardens as far as the really pretty gold and mustardy yellow color. Pretty. All right, so now for the dark brown shade Bon Bon. I'm first taking a little angled liner brush getting some of that Bon Bon shade and I'm gonna work this onto the lower lash line, kind of stamping it. Okay, now that that's down, I'm gonna switch to like a longer pencil brush, still into that Bon Bon shade. And I'm gonna very lightly kind of smoke that brown upward from the lower lash line. Make it kind of smoky on the lower lash line and then Bring it upward. And then just connect it in the very tiniest bit. We're not going like full blown wing or anything here. You just want that subtle shadow right along the lash line. Just kind of go back and forth until you are happy with the way that they both look on each side. If you need to go back into the caramelized shade, the lighter one, to kind of blend out some colors you can. I'm actually going to use just a clean brush. Well, it's stained, but it's clean. Um, just to very lightly buff right there where it got a little, kind of caught a little bit on both sides. I don't know if maybe I had some primer down there that I didn't realize. Just kind of buff that out and then dip back into the caramelized lighter shade and very softly blend a little color back. Perfect. All right, so to brighten up the inner corner, Moon Twin Palette from Collective Cosmetics, and I'm gonna grab Emblazoned the yellow highlight shade and just pop it right on the inner corner. So I do not want to do winged liner. I think I want to just let the shadows and the kind of smoky wing speak for itself. I am going to put lashes on those. So let me do mascara, lashes, and lips, and I will come back to show you the finished look. All right, guys, this is the finished second look, and I absolutely love it. So a couple things that I did off camera. I forgot about a little pop of color in the waterline. I used this yellow um, this is punch from ColourPop. I think I need to get a new one because mine was really dry, um, but I thought it helped kind of bring in the whole yellow vibes. Uh, I did my mascara and then of course lashes. I decided to use the LA Splash Sit and Pretty Lashes just to give a nice little flared vibe. And then for lips, I figured it was only right to use a Menagerie Liquid Lipstick. I thought I bought more when I ordered this one and I guess I didn't. Maybe it was the Whale Song order that I'm thinking about, but this is the one that I have for now and it's the shade Aptasia and it's probably one of my favorites. I love it because it's just this really fun dark color, but it's just so beautiful. And I think it goes really nicely with these light bright eyes. So this is the finished look. What do you guys think? Which one is your favorite out of the two? What do you guys think of this palette so far? I am super happy with it. I definitely 
really like this palette. I like how I got two completely different vibes out of something so small and simple. Like when you look at this offhand, you feel like it's going to be very simple, but I think the two looks that I got out of this are super beautiful and very different. And I think there's still so many more different variations you can do, like especially mixing some of the tones, like this tone with this tone, things like that. I think you can do a lot of really fun stuff with this. And I really hope that they keep doing some more of these little mini palettes. I know she said that she was going to, so I can't wait to see what kind of color combination she does next because I think it's a lot of fun. I love the formula. As long as she keeps her formula the same, I'm gonna continue loving the Menagerie formula. <laughs> what can I say? So definitely happy to have this as a little addition to my collection. So if you guys are interested in this palette, like I mentioned, go onto their website and just sign up to be notified when it comes back in stock. Also, another good thing to do is just follow the Menagerie Cosmetics Instagram page because she's always posting updates about things like restocks or sales and stuff like that. So you definitely don't wanna miss out, especially on a sale. And I mean, this 20 bucks, if she restocks it, I highly recommend grabbing it. It's a super beautiful palette and it's a beautiful formula. So that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.